Very nice. It's an oddish. I need an oddish. All I have to do is take my Pokeball and catch that oddish. Let's do it. And Pokeball, go! Oddish, aren't you gonna jump into the Pokeball? Come on, Oddish. Oddish, you can stay there as long as you want to and enjoy your life because today on Nostalgic Knickknacks, I'm gonna be making a very cool 3D Perler Bead Pokeball. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Nostalgic Knickknacks, my Perler Beating Retro Gaming YouTube channel. My name is Ryan and I am super stoked for today's video. Yes, as you saw in the intro, we are going to be making a fantastic 3D Perler Bead Pokeball. And you can customize this to be whatever Pokeball you want it to be. It's super awesome and super easy to put together. I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step guide in how to put it together. And guess what? No glue required. It's gonna be a lot of fun and I can't wait to get started. If this is your first time to my YouTube channel, I make videos all about perler beading. And if perler beading is new to you, please check out this video. It is my beginner's guide to everything perler beading if you want to jump in to this wonderful art of perler beading. Before we get started, I just wanna go ahead and talk about top tier beads because they are top notch. If you are a perler beater and you haven't heard of top tier beads, do me a favor and go down in the description below and get 15% off of your first order from top tier beads. They really are amazing and I can tell you they have free shipping on anything over $50 and they ship incredibly quickly. They're based in Florida in the United States. I put in an order one time on a Friday and they got it to me on a Monday. So super quick, I didn't have to pay anything extra. That was their standard shipping time. And that is super amazing. So check out Top Tier Beads and 15% off your first order down below. This is my first time getting into 3D Perler art and it's super popular. There are tons of tutorials out there for people and I thought it would be neat to go over one, one of them on the channel. And potentially, if you guys are interested, I'd love to do more of them. And of course, they have to be gaming related, right? I went searching around on the internet for a 3D Perler Bead Pokeball. I didn't really want to get into gluing anything. I wanted to find something that would snap together. And I came across a blog called Serving Pink Lemonade. And I'm including it in the description down below. And she gives you all of the steps how to make this Perler Bead Pokeball. But I thought I could expand upon that a little bit and really show you in a video format the step by step. First, we're gonna go over the blog post real quick, and then I'm gonna go straight into the tutorial. I'm gonna show you the beading, the ironing, and all of that. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, everybody, you can see that I am now on this blog post called Serving Pink Lemonade. And this is where I found this super awesome 3D Perler Bead Pokeball, and it has all the instructions listed here how to make it. It's a really cool looking project. And you can see that you can make it in any colors you want. I'm doing the traditional standard Pokeball today. I have the Great Ball and the Ultra Ball here. Of course, you can make the Master Ball as well. So you can see here all of the pieces that I'm going to show you today. This is, these are literally all the pieces that you have to make to make this Pokeball work. And they're really easy to put together. If you have a big ironing board, if you have a big perler board, 
then you can do them all on one sheet, no problem. If you have the smaller boards, you're gonna have to do multiple of those, but still isn't too hard to put together. So this is a visual instruction guide. You can see those three pieces go together and then those pieces and I was looking through this and I thought this would be great to do a tutorial on because everything isn't quite explained here. It's sort of explained in the visuals, but I think there's more explanation that can be done. So I'm going to build on this, take all these instructions and show you step by step how to make this wonderful 3D per Pokeball. I absolutely love it. And here's some more here. It's just so much fun to see it. It's satisfying to snap everything together. And there is no glue required here. So it's going to be a lot of fun to put together. And if you're interested, I'm gonna have this link in the description below. So if you want to, you can follow along with this blog and my video at the same time or watch my video and then go to the blog, however you wanna do it. Okay, everybody, with this 3D Pokeball tutorial here that I'm doing, you see the different pieces that I've put together, and hopefully you were able to bead them. I'm giving you a closer look so you can see them here. Feel free to pause the video, zoom in, whatever you need to do to capture how to bead this. So now the next step is ironing, of course, and I have my large heat press here ironing and it'll be ready in a little bit and you can always use any kind of iron you want to but i really like heat presses and i love i could also use this the cricut mini heat press but i'm going to go with the bigger one so i can get all of this surface area done very quickly i love to use the ironing paper that Perler offers. This is wonderful. I can cut it into a big sheet here. And I like to use this a whole lot better than parchment paper. If you're interested in what the difference is, please check out the video up here. And I go through the difference between parchment paper and Perler paper and why you should choose Perler paper. And of course, don't forget to put your book on it. Don't want your Pokeball to be warped. 10 minutes and we'll come back and check on it. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes and plenty of time to put these little small pieces to be iron flat. And they're looking great. Take off the paper here. Yeah, these are looking really great. So I'm just gonna flip them because I want the other side. Of course, with this being a 3D perler, you don't always have to have everything on an exact side, a little bit different from the other ones. Okay, so everything's here. Now I just have to assemble it. I'm gonna make this as simple as can be. This is gonna be step one here, step two, step three, and step four. Don't worry about the order there. I am going to take everything off camera till we need it. So we're going to start with these guys. This is step number one. Okay, so these four are the ones we're starting with. You want to make sure the white side of the Pokeball is down. And this is going to be on the white end this is going to be on the top which is the red end. So this is essentially the four pieces that are going to make the framework of your Pokeball. So we're gonna start with this one. These two are exactly the same, so it really doesn't matter, but I'm going to fit this end into here. And they snap into place very well. So there's that one. And then I'm gonna take the other side and snap it into the bottom, just like that. I'm gonna take the top 
and I'm going to put it in the top and snap it in. So, so you get you get that right there and then push it down and it snaps real nicely into place. This is step number two. Okay, so I've got this one here and I'm gonna push it in where the white side is going into the white long piece and the red side long piece is gonna push in there so they just snap together. Really neat how they snap together. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side. So again, make sure it's facing the right direction here. White on white, red on red, black on black. And I'm just gonna go in the openings, push. You hear a satisfying snap there, I love that. So now it's looking a little more round here, a little more three dimensional. And we're gonna go on to step number three. And step number three is pretty easy. So you have the top, you have the bottom. Now you're going to take this piece here and put it in the top. And it only fits in one way and you snap it into place. And you can probably tell what's gonna happen with the white side. Same kind of figure here and we're going to snap into place. Very satisfying, I love the way that sounded. Okay, now on to the fourth step. I've got four pieces and these four pieces are gonna snap into the sides and create pretty much the face of the Pokeball here. So let's snap them in. This is the fun part. Just go, It just goes in just like that and you see how everything aligns. This is the fun part about Perler beading and what I'm seeing with 3D Perler beading is that you can make your own framework here. So just snap it into place. And one more side here, snap into place. Very good. And then the last piece you're gonna see is a little different actually. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six openings and you see six points. And that's gonna be from our Pokeball and we snap into place. And this is your finished Pokeball. That is so cool. I love the way this thing looks. And there was no glue required to make this. It is super awesome. There is also a blue colored one. You could make it purple. I mean, you could do a master ball. You could do all the other types of Pokeballs. I want to do more 3D Perler art. And this is just the beginning here, but man, this is awesome. Let me know if you tried making this Pokeball and if my directions were easy to follow for you. I love it because now I can put it on the shelf. All right, everybody. So I'm down here with my Perler Art character friends. I've got my Pokemon section here and I have my brand new shiny Pokeball and it's looking awesome. I love the way this turned out today and I am going to display it on the shelf. And there's no need for a stand because it stands on its own. So let's check it out. Well, that's it. That's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed making this really awesome 3D Pokeball. I was super excited when I found it and I knew I had to share it with you guys, show you how to make it super cool, super awesome, super cute, and super tiny for any space that it needs to sit in. So if you got Pokemon, now you can catch them with your neat 3D Pokeball. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more Perler Bead content, be it 2D or 3D, please do me a favor and like this video, subscribe to my channel, comment below, tell me how did you like the 3D Pokeball. And if you want to see more, I'd love to make more and show you how to make more. I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for being here. I pray that you have a fantastic day. 
And until next time, this 3D Perler Bead Pokeball says, Happy Beating! <laughs>